Do you want to use Android OS on your PC but don't want to remove Windows? It's possible. You can switch between Chrome OS and Windows with just one click, giving you the best of both worlds. On Chrome OS, you can experience the full Android ecosystem just like on your smartphone. Access the Google Play Store, use Google Assistant, control smart devices, run apps like WhatsApp and Instagram, sync your smartphone and even enable Linux for even more possibilities. Then when you need to do the heavy lifting like you're running high-end creative apps or PC or gaming, simply switch back to Windows. Sounds amazing, right? Let's see how you can dual boot Chrome OS and Windows on your PC. Now before we begin, let's go over the basic requirements. You will need at least 8 Gen Intel processors, i-series or Celeron, or a Ryzen processor. Your system should have an integrated GPU as dedicated GPUs aren't supported. Now with that clear, let's move on to the setup process. So first we will disable the secure boot and fast startup. So we need to enter the BIOS, which you can do that by restarting your PC and then pressing the BIOS key which is usually F2, F10 or delete as soon as the screen lights up. In the BIOS menu, locate the secure boot option under either the boot or security tab and then disable it. If you see an option for fast startup in BIOS, disable it as well. Alternatively, you can disable it later in the Windows registry. Now save and exit. Now once you are on your home screen, right click on the start menu and select terminal admin. Now we need to run the following commands to disable the hibernation. Just paste it and click enter. You will find all the commands and download links in the description so make sure you check it. Also the pinned comments. Now after hibernation we will disable the fast startup if you did not find it in the BIOS. So on the home screen open the run dialog by right clicking on the start menu and select run. Type reg edit and hit enter to open the register editor. Now in the address bar paste the following text and press enter to navigate to the settings. Here locate the hyperboot enable option double click it and change the value from 1 to 0. Save your changes and close the register editor. Now we are going to install the Linux subsystem. So right click and open the terminal admin again and paste the command to install the Linux subsystem required for Chrome OS installation. Now this will download and install and it's going to take some time. And once the installation is complete, restart your system. After restarting, you will find the Ubuntu program in the start menu. Open it and complete this initial setup by creating a username and password. So once that is done, run the following commands to update and also install some necessary files and tools that are needed to install the Chrome OS. Now before proceeding, you'll need to download a few files. Download the recovery image according to your chipset. For example, for 8th and 9th gen Intel processors, download the Shavana image. For Ryzen processors, download the Gumbos image and so on. Now apart from that, we will need the main branch file that is needed to install the Chrome OS. Make sure the branch file version matches the recovery image version as well. Now lastly we need the grub 2 win program which will create the dual boot menu which is needed to switch between Windows and Chrome OS. Now after downloading all those files, it's time to go back to the Ubuntu terminal. Now here we're going to use the cd command to navigate to the directory where all the files has been downloaded. So if you go to your folder where the files has been downloaded, you can click on the address bar to see exactly the path to the directory. Now you need to copy that and we have to format that over into this command. So we have to replace the backward slash with the forward slash. Now after pressing enter, we are now ready to run the commands in the download folder. Now run the following command to extract the branch file. And make sure to replace the placeholder names with the actual file name that we have downloaded. And we need to do the same for the recovery file, the Chrome OS recovery file. And use the unzip command this time. Also a little pro tip, disable the hide extensions option in the file explorer under the view tab to see the full files names. After the extraction is finished for both the files, you will have multiple new files in the directory. Now we are ready to install Chrome OS. So we are going to first run the command to create a branch folder in the, the drive where we want to install the Chrome OS. For example, if we are installing it in the D drive, the path will look like this. And if you don't have a separate partition, you can create one using the disk management program on the windows. Then just right click on the C drive, select Sling volume and allocate at least 14 GB which is the minimum requirement for Chrome OS. So we're going to run the installation command and this is a long command so pay close attention. So first of all in this long command replace the recovery image name with the file that we just extracted. It's going to have .bin at the end. Apart from that we also need to replace the destination path with our own. So now we have to specify the size for the Chrome OS. If you have created the partition, make sure the 
size you type in here is going to be a little less than what you created that's going to be in the whole number so 14 15 16 whatever uh, in this case i'm going to be typing 25 the lower the number the quicker the installation is going to be so press enter the installation is going to take a long time now after the finish it's going to prompt you to either to dual boot or you want to single boot so we're going to type dual boot and press enter and it's going to generate a grub.txt file which you're going to need in the next step so open the grub to win program and at first it's going to perform some initial checks and installation now once all that is done select the manage boot menu and at the top right under import configuration file select chrome now we need to select the grub.txt file that the installation just created so just locate it from your installation directory and click import now take both the options that is shown and select import and then apply now additionally you can customize the appearance of the dual boot menu like change the font color and background image once all is done then click ok and after that you will see a green success screen now we are all set now restart your system and now you will see the dual boot menu select the chrome os so you're going to see the branch logo at first and then a message saying rootfs is being created now this process can take from 10 to 20 to 30 minutes and if the installation is success you will see the chrome os logo just after and proceed to the setup screen if the branch logo persists for more than an hour you can try restarting or else it could mean that the chipset is not supported now once in the chrome os you can connect to wi-fi sign in with your google account and start exploring the android ecosystem google play store and more and that's it you have successfully dual booted chrome os and windows on your pc make sure to check the detailed instructions on the website to avoid any errors if you have any questions drop them in the comments below don't forget to hit the like button if this guide helped you and i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching